Hey, what's up, Master Trainers? This is your host, Charlie Jonas here, straight out of your Civic Valley, and today we're going to start a new journey. <laughs> Alright, here we are, once again, for another brand new adventure, right? And as you know, yeah, come on, you know, you saw the title, right? You know what you're expecting us. But, of course, before that, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with everyone else you want to play this game with, right? This way they can get to know about this game just like you do, yeah? And, of course, make sure to go ahead and follow me on all my social media, right? This way you can stay tuned about a new update regarding this awesome project. Yeah, and of course, as you know, I'm recording live on the Purple website. So if you wanna be there, you know, interacting with me in real time while I record it, make sure to follow me there as well, right? As always, if you wanna learn how to play the game, I'm gonna be leaving a playlist up there in the cards for you to explain all the rules, right? In video, of course. And also, if you wanna check it out, how was my last adventure actually? Playing this map right here, yeah, the Kanto one from the beginning until the very end. I'm also gonna be leaving another playlist up there in the cards so you can check it out. And if you don't know anything about this project at all and don't know what you're doing here, what I am what I'm doing here, right? And you don't know anything and you wanna get presented to this project, you wanna meet this project, I'm also gonna be leaving my last video where I present the project again to you because now we are talking about the version 5.0 yeah so i'm gonna be leaving this video up there in the cards as well all right okay and so that's it so without further ado let's get started playing you know playing the paudia map and of course as i told you in my previous video but no it's all good if you didn't watch it here we we are going to choose right under the map selection so it's pretty simple choose a region right and that's how we are going to do we're going to just come here and click on paudia or paudia right or whatever you call we the important is that it is this region we are talking about aka the region from scarlet and violet the latest pokemon generation released right okay then so check it out here there's an attention box first Select the map you want to play. We just did it, right? Then go ahead and add any decks you want. All right, all right, okie dokie. Here we have all the decks available, yeah? From Kanto all the way to Paudia, of course, including his Sui, right? And of course, I'm going to add them all. Yeah, why not? So I'm going to play with them all, okay? So here is a slightly slow process, right? So you're going to have to add one by one and then just wait them to load right and then check it out here we have the paudia bags chip bags right it means that they are ready to deliver the chips on this map right okay well, by the time you select the button here you're gonna change everything which has a green line around it right regarding also the specific rules and which is quite valid actually for us to realize yeah there is a thing here so here to be able to catch primary rock type steel type flying type ground type and dragon type i'm gonna have to beat the titans first right so in order to have to be able to catch rock primary rock type i need to beat this the 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 titan cloth at stony cliff right and the same thing goes for all the other ones right you know that's something that we have to remember we must remember right a shout out for someone who's watching me hey if you want to interact with me you know and remind me of these rules in specific i'm gonna be super glad right but otherwise just <laughs> just feel free to just just watch of course right and then what else is going to change here of course the pads are going to change which already changed right so here we can see we have the pad compatible for paudia map including all the mandatory and optional badges right 
Then what else is gonna change? Here we're gonna have the Pokemon League according to the map we are playing, right? So as you can see, we have from Rika all the way to Gira, Gira right? Regarding the Pokemon League, but <laughs> it is not a concern for now or not for a couple of 20 or something episodes, probably, right? Okay, and then we also have the specific evil team, yeah? And as it's written right here, add the evil team cards to the deck before you start the game. That's quite important, right? Of course. So we're gonna go and gonna add the team star event cards to our deck, right? So here we have a team star. Hey, no bullying, right? If you lose the battle, team star, take your Pokemon imprisoned, all right? The same thing of the Team Rocket, but now we have Team Star instead, all right? So let's grab the cards and add to the deck, yeah? Then we're gonna get the mover as well, it's pretty important, right? In case they score, right? Of course. Not gonna make their job easy, right? So let, let's leave them right here in the center. And then, of course, we are going to have everything else regarding Team Star under here, okay? Inside this bag. So we have the blue, the pink, green, blue, red, and yellow chips, cards, and dice, all right? Which is very important. So here we have to check the pattern, because the primary Pokemon are always going to be the motor one, right? Which I don't know, River Room, Varun, uh, yeah, Varun River Room. So usually, what they're gonna have in common is going to be the Steel poison type right with something for us to to worry about for sure right okay then so here you have enough cards if you want to grab any any other rival card or rival content you're gonna have to come here and check the bags with the gyms and badges right of course they are all gonna be here okay but we're still pretty far away from the first gym since we didn't even get started yet, right? So let's do it. Let's start adding the dexes. So let's go ahead and add Kanto Dex by clicking here. All right, here we have it. It takes a little bit to load, right? And of course, remember, if you already add the dexes, you cannot go ahead and, and switch regions anymore. Instead, you won't work. You're not gonna be able to withdraw all the, the chips from this bag anymore, right? So you gotta remember that. So let's add Jodo as well. Hoenn. Here we go. Sino. Damn, it's gonna be so sick playing with them all, right? Unova. Oh yeah, a lot of chips there. Kalos. Alola. Pretty sick too, right? Gellar, of course. Isui. Damn, definitely wanna a cleaver, right? Or Ursaluna, which is my favorite one. And of course, finally, but not least, Baldia, right? Yeehoo, here we go! Alright, alright, alright. There we go. And then we now need to go ahead and shuffle but let's just double check to see if all the chips are here inside yeah let's see oh yeah from, from Bulbasaur all the way to Gimme Goo right so I think we are all good all set up so let's shuffle them all yeah and before we go ahead and deal the pink chips right let's of course go ahead and grab our starter chip which of course, as Charlie here would would you know wouldn't allow me to do different. Yeah, we are going to pick once again Charmander as our starter. Okay, of course, always we always gonna pick Charmander because I'm Charlie Jonas straight out of Charasific Valley, right? So it couldn't be different to them. And yeah, yeah. So here there's something new as well. Remember that now we have states, right? So pink blue red and of course for Charizard two of the purple ones regarding 
both X and Y Mega Evolution, right? So now we don't have to switch chips anymore. It's just one chip. You have all the, the evolutions, right? Pretty dope. Come on. Come on. After this one, after this feature, I'm pretty sure I deserve the like, right? So leave a like and follow me, please, right? Okay, then. So because we already chose, we of course, you're going to go and check inside the traditional bag instead of let's go. Since we didn't choose Pikachu nor Eevee as partners, right? So let's come here and grab the miniature. Yeah, the miniature is like optional, you know, just in case you want to move around on the, on the board, you know, using the miniature instead of the character, right? And talking about character, of course, we have to be someone here, right? So this time, I think I'm gonna pick Dusty. No, to be honest, you know, I'm a, I'm a little old already, you know, so uh, I'm gonna stick with Brick, right? Brick is my favorite, it's always gonna be, so I'm gonna be Brick once again, right? So here we are, Brick and the die. Alright, so let's place Brick, oh, oh, here, Cabo Poco, right? AKA Start Reset House or Space, I don't think it really matters, right? Either way. Alright, and so now we have the mover, we have the Pokemon, oh, where's our token? Let's grab the token, right? Because if you were playing with more people, it would make easier for them to remember which Pokemon we have, right? So we have here, Charmander, of course, right? Charmander, let's leave Charmander right there, along with my, my miniature, because... As you remember, and I hope you do, right? When you get started, we have to choose both the affinity type and the trainer skill, right? And then let's go and choose one from the traditional, since we pick one Pokemon from the traditional option, right? So let's come here, shuffle, and pick one. Woo hoo hoo! All right. So our our Affinity type or affinity type is psychic. Wow, that's pretty dope. Yeah, psychic is a pretty common type and it's gonna be good because it is not one of the specific ones under the specific rules. So it doesn't demand a badge in order for me to be able to catch a primarily psychic type, right? And of course, let's go ahead and grab the trainer skills. And as you know, if you watch it, my previous gameplay series, right? I think I'm gonna get started with Cheerer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So if you're not if you're not quite you know familiar with those with these uh, skills, right? So catcher roll once again when you fail to catch a Pokemon. But that's the thing, though. Might sound good to go first, you know, to catch to grab and choose this this skill first. But that's the thing, at least for me, that the way I think, right? In the beginning, we're gonna be dealing with pink Pokemon, right? Pink chip Pokemon, which are quite easy, you know, if you think about to catch, right? So I don't think it would make a lot of difference, right? And then we have healer. You can lose a turn to revive one Pokemon from your hand, which is pretty cool. But I don't think it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a game changer. But only if we have another Pokemon, of course, right? Then we have Team Worker. After the, a battle, each active Pokemon in your hand gets one XP, yeah, which no longer adds another one or sums two with the XP share, right? Both of them are going to provide half each, and then you're gonna stick with just one XP when you're talking about passive farming, all right? And then finally we have the cheerers. In case of a double KO, your Pokemon will survive with one life point, which for me is the best one to be chosen first, right? Because just imagine the situation. So I'm gonna get started and then I go right here and I face a Pokemon and then it's like a normal type or, or pretty badass. And then I lose the battle in a double KO. I'm gonna be restarting the map all over again all the time, right? So I don't want it. I think this is, is more important for me to avoid other than being able to catch a Pokemon or not. So I, I'd rather survive in the battle than, you know, 
catching a Pokemon easier because it is already going to be easy, right? So Cheerer is definitely my pick. All right, and all right. So now what else? What else we have to do? Yeah, of course. Let's let's shuffle the decks and then place them on the board, right? So let's go with Gigantamax over there. No, no. Gigantamax over here. Okay, job. No, let's 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 invert. Let's put Gigantamax there. Pokejobs okay, jobs here. There we're gonna we're gonna place the item card deck. And here we're gonna place the event one. Woohoo! Alright! Alright, alright. So I think we are pretty much set up to get started, right? Yeah, it's, I think it's time. It's been 15 minutes already, right? Half of the episode. So let's go. Let's roll the die and see what is awaiting for us. But no, of course, not before we deal the pink chips, right? So let's do it. Woohoo! All right. So now everything is set for us to get started. So let's go and let's do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And let's review the, the, the Poké Job of Beatable, right? Oh, damn, we got a very long one right from the scratch, right? We're gonna be able to take up to two Pokemon, yeah? And it's gonna take 20 turns, and it's gonna provide the Pokemon 20 experience points. All right, talking about experience points, let's come here and add uh, the goal for our... Charmander, in order to become a Charmeleon, which in this case, as, as I started, is a blue chip, it's going to demand 16 experience points, right? And the power points we already have so far are 5, right? And we are going to, we are going to need 12 in order to be able to challenge the Conto, Con, Cortondo, Cortondo, Gym Leader, which is that lady that I already forgot the name, right? But it's the bug one. It's the bug type Gym Leader one, right? All right, then. So I think we're pretty pretty done. Yeah, pretty set up. So let's go and let's use one of our energy coin, flip it, <laughs> and then face our very first Pokemon into the Paldea region. Come on, how exciting is that, right? So which ones are going to wait for us? It's going to be a J9 one? What do you think? If it is, you know, leave leave in the comments which one you thought it was, alright? So let's go, let's see, one, two, three. Woohoo! Alright, Tapic! Damn, Tapic is quite, is quite strong actually, right? And definitely a very interesting match for my Charmander, so come on! It's going to be Tapic against Charmander because, of course, for the lack of any other option, Charmander, I choose you, right? So here we go, come on, Charlie, let's do it! Let's conquer the Kanto region, right? So you know, you know what you're doing. It's not your first your first time, right? Please! Alright, so now it is battle time. Oh yeah, yeah, and then all the dice is going to be here, right? So we have a DH, a 12, a 20, a plus D6, a minus D4, a minus D6. Here, same thing, the H, the 10, the 12, the 20, the 6 plus, the 4 minus, and the 6 minus. So we, of course, we're gonna roll with the, and the H, yeah. Each of our Pokemon is going to have 20 life points, right? And now let's check it out, the interaction between them. As you know very well, fire against fire has a disadvantage. So we both are going to roll a D4. <laughs> Hey, come on, come on, who knows, who knows what he's talking about, right? I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna re regret choosing the cheer skill, right? Not at all. Alright, so here we have it. So we have a DH, yeah, because we are both monotypes, yeah, fire types, right? So that's Z, a pretty clean battle. No, um, yeah, no much more than that. So let's go, let's roll, and let's see if your Charmander it is ready to take down this Tappy, right? So come on, Charmander, Ember! Alright, alright, so it's going to be a neighbor battle, a neighbor duel. Alright, so let's check it out. 
Oh, damn, we, we, yeah, it was pretty pretty bad for us, right? So, 5 minus 4, damn, it's just 1. 1 plus 4, it is 5, so 5 down. And then, let's check it out, 4 minus 3 is just 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. Alright, pretty even, so come on, Charmander, let's go, Amber once again. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, alright, let's see. E, oh, damn, the same thing again. 5 minus 4 is 1, plus 4 is 5, and then, oh damn, now he hit us much harder than before. 6 minus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Oh no, just took half of our life. Oh, come on, I can only, you know, cheer you up if it's a double KO. Come on, Charmander, please, please, let's go. Come on, you gotta do better than that, come on, Amber. Damn, I think, I think that's, that's it now. I think we, we got it, we got it, we got it. A very strong hit so seven now much better and almost maximized right minus two is five five plus four oh it's nine <laughs> hey, damn I think I can smell a double KO right and then he hit us with two minus two which is zero plus three is three right so minus three we have one against five oh <laughs> yeah there's still a chance but at this point I'll go with 50-50, right? So anything can happen. Come on, Charmander, let's do it! Alright, so let's see. Yeah, 6 minus 2 is 4, plus 4, 8. So we definitely knock it out, right? And then, oh damn, it took, us, it took us down as well, right? So 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. AKA double KO, right? And now, now you see, now you see how it is important to have this skill at first, right? Alright, so thanks to this skill, in case of the okay, yo, your Pokemon will survive with one life point. And that that's definitely what happened, right? Our Charmander was supposed to, to faint, right? But no, this time it survived with one life point, thanks to my cheer ability, yeah, my cheering skills, which is going to provide one experience point to my Charmander. Alright, Charmander, you did great! Kind of, but I know, I know, I know it was, uh, was pretty hard, right? And of course, it has no bonus from the from the route because it is not a normal type, right? So come on, Charmander, you come back, right? With one experience point. And now it is up to me to try to catch it, right? Of course, I'm going to try because the first gym is going to be a bug type one. So why not, right? Okay, so let's go. Let's come here. And change my no 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 change my state to state two, which regards the pink color. All right, and now we are going to roll this die to see if I catch it or not. All right, okay. So come on, please cross your fingers and let's go. Come on, Pokeball, go! Oh! <laughs> Damn, damn, almost a five, right? Damn it, almost a five. So yeah, he, he ran away, right? He ran away. No, it wasn't this time. Let's deal to replace it. Throw it back there and shuffle it, right? Well, what a shame, right? What a shame, but at least, at least we could farm, right? And at least we proved this skill super to be super useful, right? As I was rightfully predicting. Yeah, alright, alright. I just leave the DH there and just put the D minus D4 back. Okay, then, so that's it. Our turn is done, right? So now it's gonna be our turn again because, of course, we're playing solo. Solo, right? Alright, so now, as you know, I like some, some emotion, right? I'm gonna flip this energy coin and I'm gonna go straight towards this event space right here ooh, ooh, ooh. all right so hey come on there's something to realize here right differently than kanto map where was actually pretty easy to access a, a city yeah a city space right at the beginning of the of the game right this one is actually pretty pretty hard because we cannot make our way back to cabo poco instead we restart the map so we leave us with two options going to Mezagoza, which is going to be a pretty smart move since you're going to be able to put our hands on a 
Terra Orb Iron Card, brand new, by the way, right? Or we could make our way, which is slightly safer, to Stony Cliff, right? And I actually even try to challenge a, a Titan one, perhaps, right? And, you know, and get the chance of, of getting Iron Cards and, and everything else. So, I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah, here's that, <laughs> oh, that's the catch, right, okay, here's the catch, all right, all right, all right, so, I, I, I'm sorry, I just realized something, to move one space, I don't need to spend energy coins, right, you guys almost forgot that, because I definitely did, right, so yeah, we're just gonna, you know, spend energy coins if you're going one, more than one step at a time, right, so, which means we could go another one and then from here skip all the way towards Mesa Goza, right? I think it's gonna be a pretty smart move. Alright, so enough talk. Let's see which events are waiting for us. <laughs> and then def that's definitely it's always such a a critical moment, right? Okay, so one, two, three. Oof. Alright. After Jenny, right? Okay, so after Jenny has no no purpose here playing solo, right? So I'm gonna just pick again. All right, one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> My old nemesis, right? Giratina, the Renegade Pokemon. Giratina just opened a portal to the distortion world right next to you. You start the map on your next turn. All right, yeah, that's it. So since my my turn ends after I I draw one item card, that's what's supposed to happen. I'm gonna go all the way back to Cabo Poco, baby! And now we just restarted the map by the first time. So let's add one point here under the restarting crown, right? What makes me the currently one and only king of the resets, of course, right? <laughs> How could it be different than that? All right, and all right, so let's get another turn, right? And let's get started. And I think I'm gonna do the exactly same thing all over again. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to put my hands on any item card so soon, right? And I think I'm gonna go straight to Stony Cliff. So I'm gonna go one, 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 and one, and then try to skip the last two of them, right? Whew, let's see, let's see how it goes. All right, so here we go again. For Mantis, woohoo, come on up. Pretty good match for my Charmander. So come on, Charmander, I choose you. Let's go, let's roll, let's do it. Let's toast this for Mantis. It's gonna be easy. All right, so the DH for each one of, of them. But however, now we have fire against, against grass, right? Which is gonna to rain as opposed to D6. And then we have grass against fire, which is gonna drain it in minus D4. So it should be an easy win. Come on, Charmander, let's go. Amber! Oh, come on, Charlie! You already? Are you already started, right? Just, we just gotta minimize it, or minimize both types, right? So it's like 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 6 plus 4 is 6, actually. And then in he... <laughs> Damn, yeah, yeah. Just keep undermining for me. Right? Come on, keep undermining it, yeah? Alright. So... Damn, 8! 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Then he hit it harder than us. Than we did, right? Come on, come on, Char Charmander, you gotta do better than that. Come on, let's go, let's roll, Ember! Alright, alright, so I think now we got, we got it pretty hard. So we just hit it with 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 3 is 13! <laughs> oh my, oh my, 13 by 1, right? One life point, and then he hit us with just one now, plus two is three, minus three is zero, so it didn't hit us at all. And now it's gonna be virtually impossible for it to take us down because the maximum we can get is eight, the minimum is one, which is seven, seven plus two is nine, so it's already a KO. And another, if we can say that technically, no, but in practice, it's another victory to our Charmander. Very well, Charmander, come back, right? Well done, right? Well done, another experience point to you. And I'm definitely gonna try to catch it. Because, you know, if I'm planning to face and challenge the Stony Cliff Titan, aka Cloth, I believe that a 
a grass Pokemon is going to be a very good match, right? Of course, it's not gonna be the same against the Portondo Gym Leader. Alright, so come on, let's see if now I can get a little luckier, right? So let's roll and let's see if we can catch this little guy, this little fellow called Fomentis. So come on, please, let's go! Woohoo! Here we go! Come on, Fomentis! Welcome to the team, right? Here we have it. Very well. Of course, you gotta make a copy of it, right? Don't forget that. Throw it back there, but not before we do another chip. And then throw it and shuffle it, right? So now we have a Fomentis, a Gen 7 Pokemon to our team. And again, it wasn't a normal type, so we didn't get the bonus from the route. Nor the, the, the weather, because we didn't roll any weather yet. Alright? And hey, I think that's it. I think that's all the emotion and all the adventure for uh, this episode, right? Which is only the first one. And you know, there are a lot more yet to come, right? Please don't forget that meanwhile, you know, until next time, you can always come here and check it out the pkmmtr.com website, right? Oh, not this one. Uh, this one, right? In order, to exp in order to check out the rules in a more interactive and visual way, right? And don't forget that you can always come here and click on the download button to request access to all the printable files from my Google Drive. There you're going to be finding all the public content that was released so far, right? Which is going to allow you to download, print it out, and assemble your own physical version of this game series exactly the way you want it, alright? Don't forget that in order to have access to the files, you must be a subscriber to this channel and also to leave a comment down below telling me that you requested the access, alright? Pretty easy, pretty simple, and of course, free, right? And another very important thing for you is to check it out my Patreon page, right? Please check it out my Patreon page because you can definitely help me out a lot by becoming a Patreon and supporting this project. Yeah, and backing me up there, right? If you if you get the exclusive access option, right? You're gonna have exclusive access and not not only be able to play all the games I present to you in the previous video, yeah, all the traditional mini maps, poker race in original one, but also gonna have exclusive access to the spin-off ones that regard the Pokemon Unite and the Pokemon Go map, right? Which are much different and much more casual purpose game modes, right? I'm pretty sure you're gonna have tons of fun with your friends, right? So please make sure to go ahead and check it out my Patreons page. As well, check it out all the links down there in the description because you can help me out a lot by clicking and purchasing anything, any service or product I'm gonna be telling you and offering you, alright? Of course, don't forget to go ahead and ring the bell in order to get notified when the next episode comes up, right? It's gonna be even more awesome than this one, I hope, right? I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you again in the next one.